Yeah, that's the spot. Hmm. Oh, hello. Uh, welcome to Wildcat uh, Legends new News, right? This is news. Um, anyway, we got some great stories for you. Mm. Oh, my turn. Yeah. Uh, we have we have sports, mm. UIL, and uh, much more. Higher. Higher. Yeah, there you go. Let's, Let's jump, jump in. Right in. Why would you say right in? <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm Cameron and I'm here with Sarah and Sarah's going to be telling us what's going on in Winter Guard right now. So would you like to? Uh, yeah, so Monday today we are going to be having our public community performance for Winter Guard. So basically we have been competing in competitions just randomly throughout the past couple of months and we're going to be performing our show for the public today at six o'clock I think it is. All right, everybody, make sure you show up to Winter Guard's public performance on Monday at 6 o'clock. And on to the next story. Hi, I'm Lauren, and I'm here with Nicolette. So, Nicolette, why don't you tell us a little bit about the track meet on Thursday? So, last week we had our Avon Rice track meet here at, at Reigns, and girls got first overall varsity and JV, so that was really good for us. So, was it like an overall track or track meet, or was it like multiple different... Um, events or like schools and stuff? There were different events and there's a bunch of schools there, but our overall track team got first place. So that was really good. That's great. Um, what's your favorite part about track? My favorite part is definitely the relays because I feel like it's a good team, team running event and we got first in the four by two. So that was great. So what are some events you've competed in before? Uh, last week I ran in the four by two and then I also do shot put and discus, which is are the two throwing events. And then I do the open 100 meter dash. Very impressive. Um, so when is your next track meet? It's this week on Thursday in Winona. Mm -hmm. Make sure to come and show support for the track girls and boys at Winona on Thursday. On to the next story. Hey Wildcats, I'm Wiley and I'm here with... Haley. And today we're going to be talking about the UIL event she competed in. So can you tell us about that? So literary criticism is you go and you take a test. It's 90 minutes to complete and you also have to write a short essay. Um, there's three sections to the test. One is like everything that you've learned about like important dates or anything in uh, classic literature. And then the second portion is stuff about like they give you a poem and you have to do certain stuff with that poem. And then the third part is you read the book and answer the questions over it. And this year I read Frankenstein and the play was This Is Our Town, Our Town or something like that. Um, and then you write the essay over a poem and a question. Wow, that sounds, sounds like a lot of reading. Yes. So what do you like about this? Um, just the reading aspect because I'm a big book nerd. Okay, really cool. Uh, do you have any upcoming events? I don't believe so. I'm also in the guard, so of course I have that thing on Monday. Um, but other than that, I think the only other thing would be uh, in band, but not for literary criticism. Okay, well, thank you for coming on, and on to the next one. Hello everybody, it's Cameron here, and I'm with... Haley. And Haley is going to be telling us what's going on in band right now. So, April 15th. We have a dinner performance. It's $25 per ticket, and we have three different ensembles that are playing. Um, so we have the brass, the woodwinds, and the percussion ensemble. And I believe that we have a soloist. So, And you just pay $25, and you get dinner, and you come watch us. All right, Wildcats, make sure you scrape together that $25 and show up April 15th for their dinner performance. And on to the next story. Hey Wildcats, I'm Andrew and I'm here with Dakota. And today we're gonna to be talking about his UIL event. So, what'd you do? So, um, speech and debate is a UIL event. And uh, basically you get a topic at fall, which you practice on, and then you get another topic at spring, which is finalized for district. So our topic was about, should the United States Congress have term limits? So you write a two-sided argument about that, and then you compete in practice meets, and then on Last Friday was our district meet, and we went to that with uh, two other people. And um, our district is one of the hardest that has many state qualifiers and state champions. So I had the luck of going against both of them, 
first and second round. So based on circumstances, I didn't really place that well, but you know, it's something I really enjoy doing. So as far as getting ready and training for this event, uh, what, what, what were the training methods? Um, not only like training stuff you really have to do, basically is uh, you get coached and our coaches, uh, Miss Maddie. So you again, basically is, all I have to do is just, uh, know how to argue, know how to come up with stuff on the fly, know how to evaluate topics and know how to be able to speak well. Well, thank you so much for being on with us and on to the next story. Hi Wildcats, I'm Dylan and this is Brayden. And so how is your baseball season going? Uh, it's been going good. We're coming off a win against Gainesville. We're 4-0 in district and we got Leno coming up this week. So what position do you play in? I play second. Uh, it's part of the middle infield. So what are you guys working on as a team? Uh, right now we're working on like smaller things and hitting, bunting, getting our stuff down like that so we can hopefully move on and win district. We're working on defense a lot right now and just a lot of the small things. So when is your next nice game? Uh, on Tuesday the 28th, we have Lone Oak home, JV at 4.30, and Varsity at 7. Thank you so much for being here, and on to the next one. What's up, Wildcats? I'm AJ, and I'm here with Koi today. And uh, we're going to be talking about theater UIL. And so I know we made it to district, correct? And then we advanced after that. Mm -hmm. Yes. So can you tell us about uh, how that went and uh, what are some awards that we won? Okay, so for our first competition before by district, uh, we, we did very well. It was, it was super exciting. Uh, it was such a great time. We got to celebrate with expensive food, which was insane. Uh, we do not look at the receipt for that. Uh, but our awards from the ceremony, just a uh, total from uh, district and by district, we have our Ben Helsing uh, for uh, district. We, uh, he got best performer. Uh, I, as Dracula, got two all-star cast awards from uh, both award ceremonies. Sammy had honorable all-star cast. Malachi with honorable all-star cast as well. We have Haley with best light tech and Gunner with best sound tech. Wow, I want to say congratulations. And uh, how did it feel to win these awards? It was, uh, honestly, it was jarring because I've been in the, the, you know, I've been here for four years and I've always wanted to be up on that stage to like receive a medal and stuff. So finally getting that, uh, you know, finally having that moment was like insane because you're up in front of all these uh, talented people, all these actors, all these, you know, uh, performers that you've never met before and it's like they're all looking at you and you're looking back at them and it's like they're all you know they're clapping for you as well it's like it was crazy I'm sure it was crazy for everyone else as well because I'm so glad that we had you know so many awards because oh, oh man we worked so hard on this <laughs> all right well thank you for coming down for this interview uh, thank you for watching uh, make sure to tune in next week oh this feels great Set, cameras rolling, three, two, one. What am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs>